Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're gonna learn how to record a pattern inside a machine. So I'm gonna go up to file and new and on my machine I'm gonna hit browse and you can see we have uh, the whole list over here and on my software we have this whole list right here. So I'm gonna grab the EEPROM C kit and load it and it loads with this pattern and this is what it sounds like. And you can see that this is the kick drum going over here. Then we have these chords on the side. And then that's that trumpet sound that played. And we can always just click and move them around. But what if we want to record our own pattern? So for that, we're going to go up to this arrow and click on that. And we're going to select, like, you can see all these different patterns that come with machine. So just a bunch of different combinations that you can move around and edit for yourself. But we're going to select this empty space or this empty square over here. So I'm gonna click on this empty space and now we have a pattern seven. So this pattern is pretty short right now. So let's go up to the pattern length and increase that to two. I'm also gonna zoom this out. So over here on the right, you can click and drag and increase it to two or just double click and type two. All right, so this means that our pattern seven is two bars long. So if I hit play, you can see that our pattern is just two bars long. So I'm going to hit record on my machine over here or on the software. You can click on this little circle and it'll turn it red. And first things first, let's increase our tempo to 150 or something like that. 160, 150. And now if I hit play and start playing something on my machine, it's all going to get recorded. So check it out. So you can see that everything I played is getting recorded here and now I can select the whole thing and hit delete on my keyboard or right click on any of these notes. And I'm just gonna record a pattern, a kick snare pattern, so check it out. All right, so now you can see that some of these notes are not perfectly on grid. So if I zoom in, you can see that this specific snare didn't land exactly on that line. So I'm just gonna quantize these notes now and you can hit quantize on your machine. You could either right click and hit quantize over here or on your machine. If you have the machine micro or the, the machine MK2, you can hold shift and it's one of the five or six buttons. So I'm gonna hit quantize and you can see all my notes just got quantized. So I can just start recording a hi-hat pattern now. So my hi-hats are actually too soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this real quick. I'm gonna hit pad mode on my machine and select fixed velocity. So everything will be recorded at maximum velocity. So let's go one more time. And then I can hit quantize again, and it's gonna quantize my notes. All right, so now I have this bass sound over here. And what if I wanna play a lot of different bass notes? So what I can do is I can go to shift and pad mode, and now all the pads on my machine are basically the bass sound along a keyboard. All right, so I can just hit play and start recording. All right, and then I'll just hit quantize and that's gonna quantize these notes, all right? So if I hit pad mode again and on your software, you can click on these two buttons on the left. So that's pad mode and exiting it. I'm back in my pattern and here's my bass sound. So if I hit pad mode, on the bass sound, you're gonna see, actually you're gonna have to select that pad. So select the pad, hit pad mode, and you can see those notes. So let's exit pad mode and... So that way, when you have record pressed on your machine and you hit play, anything you press will get recorded. So you can record it in time or you can record it and move it around later on. But 
right now, I'm just going to select a new pattern. So I'm going to click here, add an empty pattern, and let's change this to four. And I'm just going to freestyle record something and see how it sounds. So check it out. And then hit quantize. All right, there you go, guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.